it is a bank holiday weekend and we are back ready to take on some more draft teams who are better than us as you will know because you've been incessantly watching we are sitting 10th exactly midway down the table um, up next are ed albion who thrashed us 6-1 in our first meeting first piece of bad news is that josh timmon our only fit left back has picked up five yellows and our win at wood united actually spelt the end for poor kuka wait i'm sorry joe mattox out for two to three months when did that happen i thought it said 11 to 13 days bamford out for two to four weeks are you thankfully returning to fitness soon? So we've got no left back for this weekend. Barry Bannon getting himself into team of the week. What a man. See, I'm not lying. Last time it said 11 to 13 days and now he's out for two to three months. We'll ignore the fact that this is definitely down to all the injections we gave him and made him play through several matches with that injury. Ronan Curtis, our backup left wing. Out for five to seven days. So out of the match versus Ed Albion anyway. That Josh Onomar goal must have been some strike to beat out Barry Bannon. Andre Ayo returning to full fitness. Hooray. Apparently he needs to be limited to 45 minutes, but we'll see. So lots of red in that team. Obviously, Timon, Bamford and Curtis all have to come out. We're going to put Andre Ayo onto the bench and promote Harrier into starting 11 just so that we don't injure Ayu immediately. Ryan Hardy is going to come onto the bench as well, given that uh, Patrick Bamford is injured and he's our only other out-and-out -out striker. And then the real question is who plays at left-back? We're going to drop Matt Grimes back into that left-back. He's a left-footed player with decent crossing and decent tackling ability. He obviously doesn't really know how to play it, but that means that we can bring... Flynn Downs into our roaming playmaker role. Lots of red down that left side. It also means Jake Doyle Hayes is going to come onto the bench. And in a final change, Louis Coyle is going to replace Wes Harding, who drops to the bench, and Dion Conroy is going to fall out of the team altogether. Great. It does feel wrong to put our best player at left back, but I just don't trust Barry Bannon there, which is basically the only other option at this point. Bella playing on the opposite wing to where he played last time, where he caused us all sorts of problems. Luke Aikens comes in. Eight starts, six sub-appearances, five goals. That's a pretty decent return. We owe them after what happened in our last match. Okay, one sub that I wanted to make just for this match is we're actually going to bring Downs back to a ball-winning midfielder just so that Grimes should have some cover there with the home team this time. We've definitely played better at home than we have away. Armstrong shoots over. Maybe attacking isn't the best one to have us on. Bella's ball in. First shot on target. Flynn Downs probably a bit nervous. First start of the season. Ooh. Ed Albion will have a goal kick. Oh, that is a good shot. Downs getting himself booked after 23 minutes. He has committed four, uh, three fouls already. Oh, my word. It's happened again. I'm on the wrong screen. Coyle. Bannon. Gets round the man who terrorised us last time. And Forestieri... Enough movement to get a free header in at the far post. It is, however, worth bearing in mind that last time we played them, it was 1-1 until the 40th minute, I think. Marriott steals in behind. Can't get it in the near post. Probably was the right decision given his right foot, but... Oh, my word. Is this the same team who lost 6-1? To be fair, I think a lot of them are injured from that match, but you know what I mean. Oh, 
Oh, don't let him. Don't let him attack the box. Hitting the bar. Their first big chance. They've headed into Raphael's arms a couple of times, but that one causes us more trouble. And Bella getting in behind, but this time Raphael saves. They're exerting a bit more pressure now. Cautious mentality. Harriet, Harriet! Smashes it past the post. Harriet gets round his man, attacks the box! That was exactly what I want Andre Ayew to do. That was nice. The curl on the shot would have taken it just inside the far post. Well, at half time, we are 1 0 up. Barry Bannon, 53 passes completed. Kiko Casilla, their main player. And in real life, one of the South Korean teams have just scored, so incredible. Jeremy Beller has struggled to perform, but he did have a big chance towards the end of that first half. Coil down the right-hand side, cross to Marriott. Header into the keeper's arms as normal. Well, I mean, not as normal because it was on target. Ooh, that was a nice flowing move, but the finish lacked. I mean, everything, really. Bale has actually gone off for Danny Ward. Grimes is going to become a defensive fullback instead and not go anywhere. Aikens is attacking more down that left-hand side and they're overlapping a lot. And because of that, we're also going to bring our wingers back and Forestieri is actually going to become a defensive winger. But Harriet can still be an inverted winger. And Marit's going to be an advanced forward because he's got no one to link up with now. Marcus Harness comes on for Aikens. Oh, don't pass it to them in the box. Uh-oh, Forestieri's injured. Or play-acting, hopefully play-acting. Yep, yeah, play-acting. Fully defensive. Flynn Downs on that yellow. He's going to be replaced by Jake Doyle Hayes. Andre Ayu is going to have a run out. Let's make a sub. Forest the area off for uh, Harrop. Oh no, late free kick. And what are we doing? Played out. Goal kick, full time. What a swing. 6-1 to 1-0. I will take that every day of the week. 70% possession pretty much. Up to ninth in the table. Just 17 points from top now. I think realistically we're aiming for third. Andre Ayew capable of another 45 minutes. Brad Alexander lost yesterday, which means that unless we were to lose by like five goals, we'll stay ninth at worst. Grimes goes back into his roaming playmaker role. Downs is back onto the bench. And Timmon comes in at left back. Oh, I hope we beat any team that has Ben Watson in it. Here we go. Coils cross finds Marriott but can't direct it in. Coil Harriet Barry Bannon on his right foot. Coil takes the ball down. The first cross is cut out. Harriet's cross is cut out. Bannon oh no with his left foot, I'm just blind. Fires it in at the near post. Keeper should do better. Oh, and it's two. A nice move. Bannon pushes Harry a bit wide, but he manages to turn and play in. Play back to Bannon. His pass to Marriott. Shot to the near post works again. Oh, we are running riot. Coils cross. Back to our centre forward to head in. Free header. Again, the keeper might think he should have that one. Nice little flick at the near post, but... 
Marriott through ball almost never happens because we're busy playing slow build up. But this time Swift cuts the defense in two. Marriott off the shoulder. Bags a hat trick already. 20 minutes in. Grisicki with the run. Barcusian. Barcusian. Has uh, nothing to do but tap it in. They are getting into the game a bit. Maybe. Presumably they're throwing more players forward. We're just going to go more cautious. We don't need to do anything now with well, 4 1 up. Forestieri, Swift. Restores the four goal lead. Adoy robbed of the ball. Forestieri rolls it into the path of Swift. Hits the far corner. Easy. Oh, Crowley's got a goal now. Grisicki again. Important. His first cross is turned away. His second cross finds Robinson. Morrison can't clear it properly and Crowley scores. Onomar running. Raphael tips it over. We're going to drop our midfield back a bit. Grimes is obviously going to be our deep line playmaker and he's going to be on defensive. Other than that, not going to change too much. A good first half. It's 5-2 at half time. They've got their money's worth, the fans at least. Slightly disappointing to concede twice, but meh. Coil running round swift against his own man. Uh, so we're going to make a couple of changes. Timon is going to become a supporting fullback just because Grisicki is operating down that side. And then Ayu is going to try and continue his road to recovery. Coil. I should come up with something else rather than just saying Coil. When Coil has the ball, Grisicki's on this side. Was he always on this side? I don't know. Anyway, we'll play a flatter back four. I'm also going to bring on Wes Harding on that right hand side because he's a better defender than Louis Coil. Lyman. Good save, Cabral. Krasicki's just playing wherever he wants, apparently. That's cool. We'll go defensive for the last five. We'll give Ryan Hardy a bit of a run out for one minute. Thankfully, that did not go in. I mean, we're still three goals to good. A slightly duller second half in that seven goals was followed by zero. But Jack Marriott's 9.6 rating is not one to sniff at. Seven shots on target, five goals. Clinical. Went six without a win, now haven't lost in five. Up one more place to eighth, and JMFC suffer their second loss of the season, so now there's only a 14-point gap. We need him, so treat it, club. Let's hope that he doesn't spread it to anyone. Our main goalkeeper picking up an injury is never a good thing. Elec is obviously a big game, so we're going to give him an injection to try and get through that. So, Andre Ayew, still limited to 45 minutes. Callum Harriet capable. Bamford and Raphael have both failed fitness tests. Oh, we're going to risk Raphael, because I think we have to. I think we're just going to go for an unchanged 11. I swear, if Chris Maguire scores against us this time, I'll just, I'll rage quit. Elec of the league's best defence, which is always fun. But it only takes one goal. Luton versus Oxford, two very different towns. Oh, that is lucky because he should not get played through that easily. Oh, wide again. Um, maybe, maybe we should go more cautious. Coil, it opens up. Oh, on the follow-up. Timon wide. 
wonderful stuff from Photomatic, but still goalless. Oh, Swift. He doesn't actually shoot that much, even with being our attacking playmaker. Well, that, that's part of the reason, because he's actually on shoot less, but, you know, well, whatever. 0-0 at half-time. Remember that Alec United are second in the league, and we are eighth. So this is a good result so far, especially considering as they haven't really had any chances. Marriott steals the ball. Oh, Smithies pulls off a good save. Oh, Raphael managed to tip it over. Oh, that is so close. Off the bar. Tim in a great cross, but as normal, we can't score with a header. As usual, IU on for Harriet. I wish that Callum was doing just a little bit better. Oh, that is Grimes. Forcieri, IU should have scored. Uh, Marriott hasn't really contributed today, so Ryan Hardy. Oh, that is... Smithies tips it over. Are you on the break? Hardy almost through. He didn't dive to Elliot Moore. How dare you? Please don't let them score now. Final whistle sounds. 0-0 is not the worst result in the world, especially when I thought we controlled the match. Alex Smithies being their best player really does show that. Up to 7th anyway. Raphael out 3-4 to four days. 6 unbeaten. Barry Bannon, team of the week. He's in it every week at the minute. We've got Brad Alexander in the uh, draft cup. That'll be fun. Andre Ayo is going to replace Callum Harriet. Patrick Bamford deserves his place on the bench over Ryan Hardy. And I think that's all for now. Oh, no, it's Mitrovic again. Oh, thankfully, Patrick Roberts isn't going to be there. It was his assist that got Mitrovic's goal. Smith Rowe is there, though. Swift getting the ball into Ayu within the first minute and a half. That was a nice move. Oh, the corner kick. I should say we've slightly changed our routine, putting someone at the back post as well as the near post, and then also mixing up where we actually put it. Oh, the corner routine is, is looking promising. Oh, Raphael saving us again. Baptiste from miles out. Oh, the header at the far post. Marriott's shot from 20 yards goes just wide. That is both full wax booked. That just needed a touch. Coils cross met by whoever that was. I shot. That's better. That's more like it. Yet again, the opposition's goalkeeper is their best player. It's just been an absolutely nothing game so far. Are you getting himself booked 35 seconds into the second half? Yes! Andre Ayu on his... Return to the first team. Instrumental in the build-up. Playing in Forestieri. The pass back to Timon, who's crossed to the far post. Volleyed in. He's not offside. No, he's not offside. Get out of here. Moving up to sixth position. Let's not throw this away, please. Oh, dribbles past the post. Marriott passes Swift. 
And we're 2-0 up. 10 minutes into the second half. Again, the man who scores, also involved in the build-up, gets himself between the centre-backs, passes it really into that corner. Look at that. We're about an hour in. He's on a yellow card. He's only just come back to the team. Andre Ayew is going to be replaced by Patrick Bamford. Marriott plays in coil. Oh, unlucky. Oh, good save from Raphael there. Terrific stuff by Sessegnon. Swift's corner. Finally finds Morrison for the third goal of the game. Beautiful. Smith Rowe's shot deflected. Smith Rowe is the one getting in behind, so we'll drop Coyle back and replace him with Harding. Oh, Mitrovic is offside. He's still celebrating. How embarrassing. Just, I think. Grimes. Good save to stop Forestieri. Harrop coming on for Forestieri. Shot, but safe hands from Raphael. And a no-nonsense approach from Sean Morrison. Swift has been sensational. That's why we picked him first up. Patrick Bamford struggled to perform with two mistakes. I didn't think he was that bad. Anyway, a 3-0 uh, victory. Clean sheet. What more could you want? Seven unbeaten now. So we're up to sixth in the table. We are staging a comeback. A huge game next up as we face Graham Rovers, who themselves are in eighth. This is the other team we need to get one over on after they beat us 5-0 in the first game of the season. And then we play Brad Alex three times in four games, twice in the cup and once in the league. I will see you next time.